Hello guys film me explain here. Today I'm going to explain a mystery and drama film called, Luckiest Girl Alive. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Let's start. The movie begins with Annie, a women's editor from New York, shopping for wedding supplies as she prepares to marry her boyfriend Luke, a documentary director, in five weeks. While looking at blades, Annie's imagination takes over, and she envisions the blade covered in blood with Luke lying on the floor. She quickly snaps out of the disturbing thought and rejects the blade, stating that it's too heavy. Annie appears to be content and excited about being with Luke, although she keeps some secrets from him. For example, she is seen devouring an entire pizza at a pizza shop, despite lying and blaming the waitress for spilling a drink on the pizza and her clothes. Meanwhile, Annie goes to the gym and later leaves with her friend, Null, to catch a bus. After waiting for some time at the station, Null insists that they take an alternate route because she has an interview with a documentary editor. Inside the bus, they have a conversation while a drunk man enters, making Annie feel uneasy and triggering flashbacks that scare her. At work, Annie is informed by her colleague, Lolo, that her name will be on the masthead of the New York Times magazine as her wedding gift. This news brings Annie happiness, as she is getting closer to achieving her dream of becoming the senior editor of the Times magazine. Shortly after, Annie meets with director Aaron, who informs her that her former classmate, Dean, has agreed to be interviewed for a documentary, as he has a new book to promote. However, Annie expresses her disinterest in the documentary and shows Aaron her wedding ring indicating that she is busy with her wedding plans. Unbeknownst to Aaron, Annie is a survivor of a deadly school shooting, and he believes the public needs to hear her story, as Dean claims she was involved in the incident. Aaron tries to convince Annie that he is only interested in the truth, but she asks him to leave, refusing to participate in the interview. Disturbed by Dean's accusations, Annie searches the internet for information about him and comes across an article where Dean accuses her of being involved in the shooting. This triggers a flashback to her time at Brentley School. The flashback reveals Annie's initial interactions with Dean and his friends, Liam and Peyton, as she quickly befriends them. Back in the present, Annie shares the details of the documentary with Luke when he returns home. Luke supports her decision not to do the interview if she doesn't want to, assuring her that she doesn't need to explain herself to anyone. Luke also informs Annie about an opportunity for him to move to London and suggests that she can pursue the MFA program to write for herself. Despite being on the verge of working at the New York Times magazine as Lolo had promised her, Annie agrees to move to London. While shopping for her wedding dress, she continues to experience flashbacks of a party in her high school day. Later, she receives a call from Aaron, which surprises Null since she believed Annie wasn't interested in the interview. However, Annie explains that she wants to marry Luke and establish herself at the Times magazine before sharing her story, believing that people will be more inclined to believe her then. Annie calls Aaron back and agrees to do the interview at her office. As she browses the internet, she comes across hateful comments about her marriage to Luke, which triggers further flashbacks of her past. Before long, Lolo interrupts her and calls her into her office to share the news that they are indeed moving to the New York Times magazine, bringing Annie immense joy. Later that day, Annie and Luke have dinner with Andrew, her former high school teacher and his wife, seeing Andrew again. Annie recognizes him and he brings up the documentary with Aaron, asking if she will be participating. Annie confirms that she has agreed to it and mentions their plans to move to London after their wedding. On their way home, Luke asks Annie if she is serious about the interview, expressing his desire for her to pursue the MFA and write her own book instead of focusing solely on her past. Annie finally reveals to Luke about the job offer at the New York Times magazine and confesses that she has always dreamed of telling her story for vindication. She discloses that on the night of the party, she was raped by Dean and his two friends. When it was Dean's turn, Annie managed to strike his head against a shelf and escape. In shock and distress, she seeks refuge in a store where she encounters Mr. Andrew. He takes her to his house so she can freshen up and suggests informing her mother and taking her to the hospital. However, Annie refuses. The next day, Annie meets with Aaron, who informs her that Dean is willing to apologize and vindicate her for accusing her of being involved in the shooting. However, Annie expresses her interest in exposing the gang rape, and Aaron promises to keep her away from Dean until she gives her permission. Soon after, Annie and Luke have a meal with Luke's parents, joined by her mother, Dina. However, Annie abruptly leaves to watch Dean's interview. Null catches up with her, and Annie confesses her conflicted feelings of pity toward Dean when she sees him in a wheelchair, despite her desire to hate him. Later, at the gathering, Annie walks away from the scene, and Dina follows after her, trying to catch up. Dina blames Annie for what happened to her, accusing her of not following her rules and insinuating that she wants Annie to marry Luke for his wealth. 
She expresses concern about Annie potentially destroying the efforts Dina made to bring her and Luke together. This leads to a heated argument between them. Later that night, Annie apologizes to Luke for her behavior, and they begin to kiss, but Annie kisses him roughly, inadvertently hurting his lips. They attempt to make love, but Annie stops him and abruptly leaves the room. In a flashback, Andrew accompanies Annie to report the incident to the headmaster, Mayor. However, Mayor tells her that she needs to be prepared for the consequences as she was under the influence of alcohol during the incident. Andrew defends Annie, stating that she had clearly said no. As Mayor is about to call Annie's mother to inform her, Annie interrupts and changes her mind about reporting the incident, resulting in Andrew being fired for allowing them to leave the school premises. Distressed by the situation, Annie rushes to Arthur's house as he is aware of the incident. Arthur reveals to Annie that Dean and his friends had also bullied their mutual friend, Ben. Arthur is angry at Ben for dropping the charges, and he is frustrated that Annie seems to be doing the same. Shortly afterward, Annie attends her interview with Aaron, where she recounts the details of the shooting incident. They were in the cafeteria when a bomb detonated. In a disturbing turn of events, Arthur and Ben begin to target and kill students, starting with Peyton. Liam tries to escape with Annie, but he is also killed. Eventually, Arthur catches up with Annie and Dean, and he hands Annie a gun, encouraging her to seek revenge by killing Dean. Meanwhile Arnie, overwhelmed by fear and unwillingness to kill Dean, refuses to carry out Arthur's instructions, leading Arthur to take the gun and shoot Dean himself. In a desperate act of self-defense, Arnie retrieves a knife and stabs Arthur in the neck, leaving him confused as he believed they were on the same side. During Dean's funeral, he falsely accuses Arnie of joining Ben and Arthur in planning the massacre, claiming that she was rejected by him after they made out with each other and their friends. Dina scolds Arnie for drinking and admonishes her, expressing disappointment in the person Arnie has become. In the midst of the chaos, Dean suddenly appears, causing Arnie to panic and leave. Aaron follows her, trying to explain that Dean was not supposed to be there and encouraging her to continue the interview. However, Arnie is resolute and refuses to listen, walking away from the situation. When she returns home, Arnie tells Luke that she left because it didn't feel right to stay. She also reveals her consideration of writing a book, to which Luke expresses happiness as she finally agrees with his previous suggestion. The following day, while packing her belongings, Arnie meets with Lolo and informs her about her decision to move to London. She also shares an article she wrote with Lolo. After reading it, Lolo tells her that it's not worth reading, implying that she is trying to protect Dean. Lolo advises Annie to write what she truly wants to say and not be influenced by others' expectation. Meanwhile, at Luke's book launch, after his speech, Annie meets with him. Luke informs her that he will take down his article about her involvement in the shooting on the condition that she doesn't publicly speak about what happened between them. Dean, showing little remorse, claims that he has a wife and children and that her story could destroy his family. Feeling threatened, Annie asks him to admit to what he did that night, and he reluctantly confesses. Unbeknownst to Dean, Annie had secretly recorded their conversation, providing evidence of his wrongdoing. During Luke and Denise's rehearsal dinner, Annie discovers that her story will be published in the New York Times magazine, which brings her happiness. Excited, she calls Luke outside to show him the article. However, Luke is angry and frustrated, as he believed that Annie had moved past the incident and wishes that she had handled it privately. However, Annie bravely tells Luke that she has always desired to share her story and reveals that she had been using him as a shield to hide from her past. This revelation leads to the end of their marriage. Soon after, Annie starts her new job at the New York Times magazine, and she feels a sense of belonging and fulfillment in her role. Shortly thereafter, Noel visits her and presents her with a copy of the magazine featuring her article, bringing Annie great joy. As her story becomes public, Annie begins to receive messages from other women who are afraid to share their own stories. She becomes a source of hope and encouragement for them. During an interview, Annie not only shares her experiences but also empowers other victims to speak up and share their stories as well. On her way out, Annie encounters Sarah, a writer who covers public health. Sarah, with a condescending tone, mentions how Dean has helped many people and hopes that Annie's 15 minutes of fame will have a similar impact. Feeling humiliated, Annie gathers herself and calls Sarah out, encouraging her to speak up and share her own experiences rather than belittling others. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.